And we're trimming the beard down to a manageable length. And for the particular haircut, we're going to leave some sideburns. So I don't want to go up too high. So I want to leave myself a little bit of an outline there. You can do a little scissor over comb, or excuse me, clipper over comb, just to remove some of that, um, the heavy part of the sideburn area. And we're going to continue so around. We're going to begin the outline under the chin. We're going to take a one finger width and then I'll work our way over. So like we talked about, we make our line and we pull out. We make our line and we pull out. We make our line and we pull out. So now we can see the outline of the beard. And now we're going to shave up against the grain very gently. Very lightly because you don't sometimes the uh, the trimmer can irritate the skin and we're gonna we're gonna shave them with a straight razor afterwards so we don't want to cause any irritation before we um, we're gonna shave over them with the razor. Okay, and we're gonna go back to focusing on stretching the skin properly. We're gonna use our backhand stroke. Just like on the other side, short quick strokes when you're dealing with a thick beard, and don't let your razor get too far away from your finger. That's stretching the skin. Now once you feel like you're getting too far across your body, then we're going to switch back to our freehand stroke and shave towards and shave towards yourself. Don't be afraid to get the palm of your hand on there and really stretch that skin. And blot that moisturizer off. Okay, and at this step we're just feeling to make sure that there isn't any more hair there. It needs to be shaved. Okay, we're good. So now that we've blotted that excess moisturizing shaving cream off, we're going to take an aftershave moisturizer and for this step we're not going to rub it into the skin, we're going to place it on the skin. And then we take the other dry towel underneath, we're going to fold it in half, and we're just going to blot that on the skin.